Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to San Juan, Puerto Rico, for a more relaxed episode of Tuesday Throwdown. That's right. Our announcer is on vacation this week, so I'm here to guide you through an easy episode. And first, coming out to the ring here is the man from the outback, Ozzy Legend, who here tonight, folks, hopes to break down a wall so that he can get to his rival, Lord X, once and for all. Because right here tonight, folks, Ozzy Legend is taking on Able Almighty, the Disabler, in a last man standing match. So Ozzy, folks, has a mountain to climb here tonight. Fighting anybody in a last man standing match is brutal and difficult. But when you have to do it against a nearly eight foot tall monster of a man, well... It's, it's not good for you. I'm just going to put it that way. It's just not good for you. And here he comes now from parts unknown. The disabler himself. Abel Almighty. The only other person, folks, to get a vote in the You Decide the next number one contender for the Friday Night Fight Championship. The winner of that, of course, was Aaron B., who went on to face Tokyo Choo Choo in a Hell in a Cell match and unfortunately lost. Tokyo Choo Choo still reigning supreme and later here today we will find out who his next opponent will be whether it's Israel Pacheco or Mike Chalice. But right now folks we gotta focus on this matchup and as you can tell Abel is ready to disable. The Aussie folks pacing around the outside of the ring. I guess he's wondering what he has to do here tonight to take down that monster. And we all know Lord X must be watching in anticipation as well. Wondering if his creation can stop Ozzy here tonight. Or if the man from the outback will be successful but not successful like that. And I do apologize as well, folks, for the audio this week. Our tech guys are out on holidays as well. That's what happens here in Canada when, uh, yeah, it's a holiday. So usually, folks, we're pretty good on the audio. This week, there may be moments where it's not so great. So just warning you ahead of time if the audio is not that wonderful. Oh, what a slam there from, uh, from Abel. But like I said, we're going to try and keep things relaxed. I'm going to try and keep my excitement in check here this week. And Ozzy now, folks, going for something under the ring. What's he going to pull out? What can he pull out to stop Abel? Oh, he's got a ladder. Ozzy, the ladder match is the next matchup, not yours. You've got to put Abel down for a 10 count, man. Now Ozzy's got a sledgehammer. That works a lot better. But he's saying, screw that. I don't want the sledgehammer. I want the steel steps. That's what I'm going to use to take on Abel. Ooh, and slamming him right in Abel's head. And right in the crotch. Oh, the edge of that steel steps hit him right in the crotch and then right in the leg. And Ozzy going for another one, but Abel rolling out of the way only to get smacked in the head with him. Referee started a count, but Ozzy, he's not ready for that yet. Now guiding Abel towards that ladder. And Abel's got him up and down again. Now Abel's got the ladder, folks. And setting it up in the ring. Or throwing it in the ring, I should say. Referee up to a two count. Three. Four. Ozzy starting to stir on the ringside, folks. Up to a six count, and Ozzy's back to his feet. Now both competitors back in the ring. Abel's got him, throwing him into the corner. Oh, and Ozzy was ready for him, folks. Ozzy throwing him over the ladder, and again, and Abel stopping himself. Kick to the gut. Abel's got him in a hold again. Oh, but Ozzy takes him down. Showing that he has uh, quite a bit of strength as well. Oh, and Abel with an arm drag toss there onto the ladder. And the ladder 
flying out of the ring from the sheer force of that move. But as he's up, attacking the arm. Oh my god! What a sit down scoop slam from the man from the outback. The referee now starting a count. Up to three. Four. Five. Halfway there. Six. And Abel starting the move again. But Ozzy's keeping the pressure on, folks. And a neck breaker. The referee's starting a count again. Abel's barely stirring, folks. Five count now. Six. He's still not moving. Seven. Oh, and he pops right up at the count of seven. But Ozzy, ready and waiting. Oh, oh, oh. what a nice attack there from a, by Ozzy Legend. They're just circling around Abel. What is he trying here, folks? I'm not sure, but it looks like Ozzy's having a bit of a mini stroke here. Referee up to a four count while Ozzy dances around the body of Abel. Oh, Ozzy was getting some nice hits in there, but Abel fought back. Snap mirror takedown. And a kick to the back, but Ozzy Legend getting right back to his feet. Kick to the gut. And Ozzy now. No. Looked like he was going for a suplex, but Abel reversed it. Oh, folks, we've seen this before. He's walking the top rope, going old school. Clearly, The Undertaker is an inspiration for Abel Almighty. Now it's Abel's turn to do a little shuffle at the feet of Ozzy Legend as the ref counts. A four count. Five. Ozzy Legend is not moving, folks. Up to six count. Seven. Eight. And Ozzy Legend finally getting back to his feet. But Abel's ready for him. Oh, no. Ozzy might want to stay down, folks. Oh, a massive kick to the gut. Abel's got him up. And there it is, folks. The Disabler. Throwing Ozzy Legend with such force into the ring mat. Four count. Five. Six. Seven. Ozzy Legend, folks, is not moving. Eight. And he finally does. Finding the will to carry on. And oh my god, slamming him hard into the mat again. Folks, Ozzy Legend was the first person to enter the Friday Night Fight Arena. Him and Hit Mango kicked the whole thing off. Oh, a nice clothesline there from Ozzy Legend. He has come far. He is a veteran. It's why he's in the title, uh, title intro for Friday Night Fight, folks. But Abel Almighty here is putting Ozzy through quite the ringer. Ozzy now fighting back once again. And an elbow to the gut. And another one. But Abel was ready for him. Russian leg sweep in the center of the ring. And the referee now starting another count. Up to a four count. Five. Six, and Ozzy fighting his way back to his feet again. And Abel takes him right back down. Folks, in the words written on Abel's back, I will disable you. Truer words, folks. True words. I don't know why I said truer words, but... Truer words have never been spoken, and my god, if he keeps that up, he will physically disable Ozzy Legend. 
But I see fighting right back and oh, right up and into a kick. Jawbreaker! The man from the outback. And he's going for some thunder from down under. Nailing him hard into the ring. Folks, Lord X must be on the edge of his seat right now watching this matchup. We are just about a month out from the next big special event, Glitchamania, the biggest party of the summer. And you know folks, Ozzy Legend will want to face Lord X at that event. Oh, well, nice farm takedowns and Ozzy Legend bringing down the monster. Referee up to a two count. Three. Four. Abel is not moving. Well, barely moving. Up to a six count. And Abel starting to get up at a seven count, but Ozzy knocked him right back down. A back body drop. Oh, now, folks. Abel looks like he's getting ready to disable once again. And there's that kick to the gut. Ozzy Legend being picked up high. And down he goes. And that's going to warrant a replay. A very quick one at that. And the referee counting now once again. Three. Four. Ozzy Legend is not moving, folks. Pretty sure the eyes has rolled back in the head of Ozzy Legend. Oh, but he's finding a way to get back up. Ozzy not going down without a fire. Oh, what a clothesline. And a back body drop. And Abel just taunting him. Spine buster. Oh my god, folks. Ozzy legend. His body has gone stiff as a board. And Abel just staring at him, glaring at him, almost daring him to get back up again. We're up to a six count. Seven. Three seconds to get back up, folks. Nine. Ten. That's all she wrote. The Disabler has struck once again. Lord X, folks, must be loving this so much that his creation has stopped Ozzy Legend once more. Will Ozzy Legend ever get his hands on Lord X in a one-on-one -on -one match? Who knows? But anyways, we're going to get ready for our next contest. Welcome back everybody, it's time now for our triple threat match for the War Championship. And coming out first from the Snap City, it's Loco Slam Leon. And he looks ready to rock and roll once again here tonight. fans on their feet for him and folks this is I believe Loco Slam's second chance at the war title if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong though. But he looks pumped up and ready to go here tonight and he's going to be taking on fellow outlaw Alexander Ertz and the reigning and defending championship Matt Bird of Gaming Life who has recently tied the record of defending the war title that uh, was previously only held by Hit Mango with two successful title defenses, folks. Can Matt do it for a third time here tonight? Only time will tell. And the next man to come out here is Alexander Ertz, the other outlaw I just mentioned, a former tables champion until he was defeated by DC Radia, who the other week was defeated by Joe, jo, Joe, Josh Quigley of the uh, Gaming Life, the Plaid Paladin. He 
Yep. So Alexander Oates, folks, he looks ready for a brawl here tonight. There's the war title hanging above the ring. One title that has changed hands more than any other title here in the league. Most of that due to the fact that, yes, it's very hard to defend on a weekly basis and in multi-person matches. The war title will never be defended 1v1. You will always have 2, 3, 4, up, up to 6 uh, other competitors fighting you for that championship. Israel Pacheco is the first person to hold the title and the only person to hold it twice. Big Boss has held it. Halion has held it. He was the first person to successfully defend the title. Hit Mango won it and as I said defended it twice. Tony Grice was a holder of the title. So was Brack and Michael Huber, who won it in his debut match. And here comes the champion now, folks. The crowd on their feet, excited and ready to see their champion. Now Matt has done great, folks, in pinning people for the title. But can he climb that ladder? Can he unhook the championship and walk out of Puerto Rico here tonight? Still the war champion. And folks, as Matt comes out, and yes, as Matt comes out here, folks, I do remind you that our next match on the card, Matt's friend and co-founder, well one of the four co-founders of Gaming Leg, Mike Chalice will be taking on Israel Pacheco for a chance to take on Tokyo Choo Choo this coming Friday night. The man who has been undefeated since getting that championship belt. Many are wondering if anybody can take down the Choo Choo. After he defeated Lauren Baumgarten, the undefeated one, then he went on to defeat both members of Radiophonic Sea Creatures, and last week he defeated the mysterious one, Aaron B. But anyways, folks, let's let's focus right now on the War Championship. That's what's important. And here we go. Match has started. Loco Slam and. Alexander, folks, double teaming the champion right now. While Alexander Ertz continues to beat down, Loco Slam has got a ladder. Oh, and he smashed it hard into Alexander Ertz. Nice uppercut there. Loco Slam setting up the ladder. And now just watching. As Alexander Ertz is attacking Matt. Oh my god, what a move. And Alexander Ertz bringing a table into the mix. But Loco Slam now. Back by. Oh, he went for a back body drop, but Alexander Ertz reversed it. Matt's in the ring setting up the ladder, folks. He's seeing an opportunity to go right after the title. He's got his hands on it. Now, Loco Slam and Alexander Ertz, they saw it. And Loco Slam pulling Matt back down to the mat. And Loco Slam now climbing the ladder while Alexander Ertz is attacking Matt, folks. Loco Slam has got the title in his hands. Oh, he slipped. And Alexander Ertz pulling Loco Slam back down now. We nearly had a new champion. Oh, belly to belly right on that table. Matt climbing up the ladder. He's got his hands on the belt again. Loco Slam smashing himself in the ladder to prevent Matt. Electric chair drop. Looks both Loco Slam and Matt has had their hands on the title. Alexander now going back and forth. He's got the ladder. Oh, Matt takes it from him though. Oh, whacking Alexander with it. And again, Matt taking down both of his opponents. Throwing the ladder down on top of Alexander Arts. Loco Slam fighting back to his feet now. Oh, and a neck wrench here by Alexander Arts. 
But Matt is fighting back out of it. The power of the beard, folks. Hit to the kill and a nice punch right to the face. Alexander Earth being tossed into the corner. And Loco Slam now throwing Alexander Arts out of the ring. Oh, and now stomping on his body. And Matt climbing up the ladder, folks. He's got his hands on the belt again. Loco Slam distracted on the outside, running back in. And pushing the ladder away. Matt now hanging above the ring. Power spum. And oh my god, what athleticism there from the Loco Slam one. That made no sense whatsoever. Now the double team on Matt begins again. Alexander is now taking him high. Oh, but Matt fighting back. Ah, drop kick. That got a bit of both men. Kick to the gut. And there's the swinging neckbreaker, but Matt landed hurt on that ladder, folks. And Loco Slam, big punch. Shade to the rock there, folks. And now attacking Alexander with the ladder before setting it up. Ah, clothesline to Alexander Arts. Matt now picking up the body of Arts. Now dragging him to the ropes. And it, folks, it looks like Matt's getting ready to fly here. Spear through the ropes. Oh, Alexander Arts landed hard there, folks. Meanwhile, in the ring, Loco Slam has the ladder set up and he's going for the title. Oh, he missed there. Oh, he's got his hands on it. Alexander Arts now going back into the ring. Can he get there in time? And he does. And kicking Loco Slam off the ladder. Now he's got his hands on the belt. And Matt's just looking on, folks. Alexander Arts has it. We have a new war champion. Matt looks pissed, folks, but he did nothing to stop it. And Gaming Light goes from having two titles, folks, to just one. And watch this big boot. That uh, was Alexander Wright saying, Not today, Loco Slam. I am the outlaw who will hold the title. And my god, he landed hurt on that table. Alexander Wright is back up on the ladder now with the title belt. Celebrating as he should be. Folks, with that match over, we're going to get ready here now for our next contest. Mike Chalice versus Israel Pacheco. I will see you shortly for that match. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for our Friday Night Fight number one contender matchup. And first coming out right now, he is the man with the plan, representing Gaming Leg, Mike Chalice. As you can see folks, he is ready to go, as always, the crowd on their feet for him. Mike folks, in the past weeks, was on a right in a high with uh, Mr. Gloom and Doom, Sam Landry as they were tag team champions for several weeks until they were dethroned by the nation of vegetation. But here tonight folks, Mike has a chance to take, well, has a chance to go on the Friday night fight to take on Tokyo Choo Choo for the big belt, which would be a return to form, I guess, for Mike. 
as he fought in the Friday Night Fight tournament, like Ozzy Legend, like Hit Mango, like Lord X, Big Boss, ECW James, and Izzy, who he's fighting here tonight, was one of the eight original fighters. He was actually in the first official episode of Friday Night Fight against ECW James. So for him, this is quite the opportunity here tonight, folks, to prove that uh, he's one of the original members who deserves a title shot. And he looks like he's ready to go. Keep saying that, because I really don't know what else to say right now. But what can you say, folks, about Tokyo Choo Choo? The man has been on a tear. And it's going to be a challenge for any person to take him on at this rate. And here comes Israel Pacheco. The man from the PlayStation Nation. One half of the YouTube Bullet Club. With a smile on his face, his music pumping the fans on their feet. It's hero versus hero here tonight in this Falls Count Anywhere matchup. But folks, uh, as far as the Friday Night Fight Championship goes, we have been hearing rumblings of a possible massive main event for Glitchomania. And what is that main event, you ask, folks? Well, it will be seeing our competitors fighting in the Elimination Chamber. That's right, six people competing for the Friday Night Fight Championship. Not official yet, but it's possible it could happen. There's going to be ten matches in that pay-per-view. Ooh, a nice suplex there from Izzy on the outside. These two wasting little time and going to the extreme right now. And Izzy getting the ladder the third time that thing has made an appearance here tonight. And Mike's got the table. Oh, and ladder beats table apparently. So I guess chair beats ladder. Oh, and whacking Izzy in the head with the ladder, folks. That's going to hurt. But yes, Glitchomania, folks, is on the horizon. We are a month out from that massive special event. Ten matches, new people arriving on the scene. Maybe we'll see some more of the Easy Allies. Maybe we'll see more members of the Outlaw Gamer Society. Maybe we'll see people coming in from other what the hell the referee is taking apart the announce table what's going on looks I guess the referee is making sure this match goes really to the extreme Mike now going for a pin one and is he kicking out too early to do that oh and Mike with a nice flip over face buster there but yes glitchomania folks we are all getting excited for that. That's going to be a massive, massive event. Like Outlaws Unleashed, that will be up in two videos. Five matches on each card. And Izzy spinning around and finally doing an arm drag takedown. And an elbow to the head there, and a slap, well he tried to slap to the face, but Izzy responding with a drop kick. And now getting those steel steps. Oh, and a thud to the face of Mike Chalice. And a hit to the back. And another one. Is he throwing those steel steps down now? And Mike, oh, what an arm drag takedown there, folks. Going for a pin. One, two, and Izzy kicks out of it. Oh, whacking Izzy in the head. Elbow, folks, we've seen this from Mike before. Those three massive elbows right to the skull have taken people out before. He's going for the pin. One, two, three. No, is he kicking out of it? 
is he fighting back, folks? He wants that title opportunity. And I kick to the gut. Is he fighting back in kind? Now throwing Mike back into the ring. And is he now, folks? He's getting ready for the PSN blackout. He's got it set up. And there's the massive flip over. Going for the pin. One. Two. And Mike reversed it. One. Two. And Izzy reversed it. One. Two. And Mike reversed it. One. Two. And Izzy reversed it. One. Two. Oh my god, what a back and forth that was, folks. And Izzy now with a spinning back body drop. hit to the back. Now throwing Mike into the corner. I thought Mike fighting right back, folks. Now throwing Izzy into the other corner. Izzy fighting right back again. He's going to take Mike to the top rope. Looking for something big here. Hurricane Rana! I should say jumping Hurricane Rana. He's going for the pin. One, two, and Mike kicks out of it again. Now putting Mike into a headlock. Those elbow shots. Is he taking the time now to catch his breath? Mike slowly getting back to his feet, only to get hit in the back. But Mike's got him again. Throwing Izzy out of the ring with sheer force there. He's going after the other set of steel steps. Ooh, whacking Izzy hurt in the earth with that one. And again, right to the back of the legs this time. And again. Ooh. Folks, I do believe Izzy has been busted open with that shot. Mike now going for a pin. One, two, three. No, Izzy kicking out of it. A kick to the spine. Picking Izzy back up. Scoop slam. No, Izzy reversed it. And Mike reversing that one. Back body drop. Spinning Izzy around. German suplex. Folks, I tell you, Mike is fighting as hard as he can here tonight. Oh, and he's going for those elbow shots again. The one, two, three. One, two. And Izzy kicks out of it. And Mike cannot believe it, folks. He thought he had it with that one. I kick to the gut of Izzy. And going for another back body drop. Oh, folks, Mike is getting ready for it. Izzy could be in trouble here. He's up. Leg spike. And he's going for the pin. One, two, three. It's all over. Ladies and gentlemen, your number one contender for the Friday Night Fight Championship, Mike Chalice. Is he fought hard, folks? But tonight was Mike's night. He's looking to add the biggest title to his championship resume. But as we watch the replay here, folks, I'm going to uh, let you enjoy it yourself with some gaming leg music playing at a higher volume because I'm going to go get ready for our main event match. The Radiophonic Sea Creatures versus the Nation of Vegetation for the Wild Stallion Tag Team Championships. So I will be right back.
It's now time, folks, for our main event match for the Wild Stallion Tag Team Titles. These two men, Brack and Human Metal, hot off their uh, matches with Tokyo Choo Choo for the uh, Friday Night Fight Championship, which uh, both of them lost, but here tonight, folks, they hope to obtain Tag Team Gold. Human Metal, of course, earning the shot last week when he defeated Daniel Kaiser in that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Folks, we have to acknowledge one thing, though, for the nation of vegetation. They have been undefeated since becoming a tag team. 4-0. They defeated the Radio Phonic, or sorry, not the Radio Phonic Sea Creatures, but they defeated Aaron B. and Lauren Baumgarten. They defeated Gaming Leg twice, and they defeated Epic Battle Axe. So, the Radio Phonic Sea Creatures folks who haven't had much luck in the tag team division, they're going to have to fight hard here tonight, folks, in order to win those title belts. I can just feel the confidence oozing off of Turn Up and Hit Mango as they get into the ring here. Our announcer now, folks, uh, well, not our announcer, but the one in the arena, acknowledging the radiophonic sea creatures, the challengers, and now the Wild Stallion Tag Team Champions themselves, from the Garden of Destruction, the Nation of Vegetation. As we just got off of babyface versus babyface match, we are now going into heel versus heel territory with these four men fighting one another. And that's what it's all about, those silver tag team titles. And the match begins. Human metal attacking hit mango. And turn up going after Brack. Now the nation folks getting the upper hand. Oh, and Brack's gonna feel that leg drop in the morning. Oh, and turn up being knocked down hard there. Hip Mango's got Human Metal throwing him into the ropes. But Human Metal picks him up and throws him down. And turn up now with some hard kicks to the chest of Brack. He's going outside. He's looking for a weapon. A ladder perhaps because we've seen that already tonight. No, he's got a baseball bat. And Brack takes it from him. And Turnup takes it right back. Well, in the ring, folks, Human Metal. and Oh, Human Metal with a big, big boot there. While well, Turnup and Brack continue to fight over that baseball bat. Oh, and Turnup finally getting a hit on Brack. Hit Mango pulled out a sledgehammer, but Human Metal stopped him before he could use it. Now, human metal, folks. A seven-foot giant getting a weapon. That's very dangerous. I hit Mango taking it and jamming the end into the gut of human metal. While on the inside, folks, turn up. He has Brack up for the backbreaker gut buster combo. And he's going for a pin. One, two, and Brack fighting out of it. 
we almost had new tag team champions there for a second, folks. Human Metal now throwing Hit Mango to the other side of the ring. And he's got that baseball bat. And just throws it to the ground. And Hit Mango now into the ring. Back body drop. And going after Brack before Brack could attack turn up. Now Human Metal. Our Brack so folks going up to the top rope. Countering Hit Mango there. Oh, what a diving hurricane runner! And the referee has been knocked down, folks. And now Turnup going mad with that baseball bat. Oh my god. Both members of the radiophonic sea creatures being clocked out with that bat by Turnup. And Turnup, folks, he looks like he's going for the dirt nap. Is this a power bomb? Oh my God! Turn up, folks! Just use the metal power bomb against Human Metal. Two, and Human Metal kicked out of it, folks. What an embarrassment that would have been if he lost to his own move. And Hit Mango, folks, he's setting something up here. He's got Brack hooked in. Contract negotiation. Instead of going for a pin, though, he's going to continue his assault on the Brack. Well, turn up, folks. Oh, what a power bomb on the human metal. And hit Mango just adding insult to injury with a baseball bat to the gut there. What's turn up doing now? Well, he flew over Brack without him doing anything, folks. Oh, Brack went for the just desserts, but Turnup was ready for him. And a nice forearm smash to Turnup. Meanwhile, hit Mango. Well, he was dominating Human Metal there, but Human Metal's got him up. Oh, and Tur uh, hit Mango fighting out of that. Bad military press slam from Human Metal. Backbreaker. Well, Brack hit the Just Desserts kick, folks. One. Folks, Brack has Turnup in a pin. One. Two. And Turnup kicked out of it. If the referee had noticed that sooner, folks, we would have had new tag team champions. And hit Mango now. Setting human metal up into the tree of woe. Oh, and there's that variation of the Hebrew hammer from Hit Mango. I believe he calls it the Mango Slice. And Hit Mango with a reverse DDT. And folks, the radiophonic sea creatures both getting an upper hand here at the moment. Brack looks like he's going for that outside dropkick. We've seen him hit this several times in the past. Bam! And human metal, folks. He's getting ready for the metal power bomb. Hit Mango reversed it. And Brack nearly had a three count there. Turn up kicking it at the very last second. And human metal, folks. This is how he beat DK last week. Joke slam. And Brack with a spinning DDT. Folks, human metal is going out of the ring. Instead of pinning Hit Mango, he's going for something. Oh, and a nice dive there from Brack onto the back of Turnup. Turn up, dirt nap onto human metal. And Brack's going to the top rope, folks. Oh, he got down, he saw the pin. <laughs> Luckily, human metal broke out of it. 
Brad couldn't move due to the referee there. Now Brack sitting, hit Mango up into the top. Turn up fighting back there with a clothesline. And Brack now. Hurricane Runner from the top rope. Turn up has human metal up. Samoan drop. He, uh, hit Mango kicking into that pinfall attempt by Brack there. Russian leg sweep. Turn up going for a pin. One, two, and hit Mango. Or human metal kicks out of it. Oh, and there's the combination from Hit Mango. He's going for the pin. One, two, three. It's all over. The nation of vegetation remains undefeated in tag team competition. Folks like Tokyo Choo Choo holding the Friday Night Fight title. Who can defeat these two men? What tag team will rise up and, in, and gain a victory over these two? One, two, and Brack kicked out of that one. Folks, it was an amazing matchup. And I thank you all for tuning in. And I'm going to leave you to the celebration here of the Nation of Vegetation. And I will see you this coming Friday night when Mike Chalice takes on Tokyo Choo Choo for the Friday Night Fight title. Until then, good fight and good night!